now using x-rays to x-ray you while you drive around. That's right, using the same technology that's in those airport scanners. Feds are now using these mobile x-ray vans and they can see through cars, walls, and clothing. Joining us now is Mark Rotenberg, who's the executive director of Electronic Privacy Information Center. Mark, it's good to see you. We live in a very dangerous world. There are people who want to hurt us and, and hurt us badly. What is wrong with the government using this technology in, a, in an attempt to keep us safe? Well, I think in some circumstances it's appropriate. Uh, new technologies uh, do help make us safe. But we also have important laws in this country. We have the Constitution which basically say to the police that if they're going to conduct a search, there has to be probable cause, there has to be judicial approval. What we don't want is the police uh, investigating everybody. We want them investigating the bad guys. You know, it's clear that the terrorists are trying to change tactics a little bit. Uh, we had the New York City police commissioner in here yesterday, and he confirmed that this is really what's going on now, sort of smaller, coordinated attacks, like the kind that was foiled uh, over in Europe this week. Um, this is exactly the kind of thing that, that terrorists might use a truck or a vehicle for to sort of load it up with some explosive material, drive up to a, a ballpark or a mall or uh, a federal building, as we've seen in this country. Uh, isn't, ex isn't this exactly what the bad guys are trying to do? And, and isn't this a good way to try to prevent that from happening? Well, whether or not it's effective is actually a very important question. We've got a lot of uh, body scanners, for example, going into the airports in the United States today, and there's really an open question right now whether or not those devices will be effective in detecting, for example, uh, powdered explosives. That's also a risk with a vehicle. You can uh, conceal a powdered explosive within a vehicle which would not be detected by one of these new X-ray devices. Mm -hmm. So it's not obvious, even with these new technologies and, and the enormous sacrifice and privacy uh, that will necessarily be safer. What do you say, though, Mark, to those people out there who uh, say, you know what, I'm willing to take that chance and I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of my personal privacy so that I can be protected uh, myself, my family, my country. What do you say to those people? Well, I think it's a dangerous way to view the world, actually. I mean, the threats are real. I think we need smart solutions and, and smart responses. I also think part of defending our country is about defending our way of life, our Constitution, and our freedoms. And if we decide to uh, start giving those things away, I think we're already on a path to losing the battle.